All right, guys, we're going to do a nice application of our matrices here. So this is included in 6.3, really. Um, and our questions up here find the equation of a circle that goes through these points, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, negative 1. Uh, now, unfortunately, none of these are endpoints of a diameter. There's no x and y that are the same. So we're going to need to do a little solving for a system. Now, this problem also gave the general form of a circle, which I have written here. We can see that for the general form of a circle, our coefficients for x squared and y squared are the same. So for example, a lot of times we'll see like x squared plus y squared equals 25. So it would be a circle with radius five, but the center would have been zero, zero. So this is like our expanded form of that x minus h, y minus k equals our radius squared. And typically, we usually see this, like is written here, uh, with 1 as the coefficient for x and y, but it doesn't have to be as long as they're the same. But in this problem, since we only have three points, we're going to make our lives easier, and we're going to divide a out of this equation. So I'm left with just this, x squared plus y squared. This will change to d over a, e over a and f over a. So really, and I lost an x, I lost the y in there. So really we're looking for three missings, d over a, e over a, and f over a, which is perfect because we're given three points to help us for this. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna sub these points for x and for y. So I'm going to start off using the point negative 1, 2, and I'm going to sub them both into this equation. So I'll do negative 1 squared, 2 squared, and go all the way down the list. So this would be minus 1, negative 1 times d over a. This would be 2 e over a. And then f over a is always just by itself. And I'm going to do the same thing with all these other points. Okay, so I'm going to be a little lazy here. And instead of just writing these fractions, d over a, e over a, f over a, over and over again, I'm going to say, let's call these variables. So like d over a, I'm just going to call it d prime. e over a, I'll call it e prime. And f over a, I will call f prime, just because I am being lazy here. You do not have to do this. But next, I'm just going to clean up these equations. So it actually looks like a system of three variables and our constant. So we'll see what I mean by that. So I'm going to just rewrite this. I'm going to take the coefficients first. So that negative d over a, I'm going to write. Now remember, I'm just going to write d prime instead of d over a every time, plus 2e over a plus f over a equals, I'm going to move these constants, 4 plus 1, over to the other side. So that's negative 5. Same thing with the second equation, 3d over a, 4e over a, and f over a. My constants here would be 25. And lastly, I'll have 4 d over a minus e over a plus f over a equals, this guy would be a negative 5. So this is a system with three variables, d, e, and f, that represent those fractions. And now I can create an augmented matrix. And I could solve this using Gaussian elimination, but I'm going to use my calculator. So if you're doing a problem like this in class, I would expect to see this matrix that's going in the calculator. Let me clean this guy up a little bit. And I'm going to say put in calc and get reduced row echelon form. And I'm going to write over here what it would be. Hopefully, it will look something like this. 
I'm going to put it in the calculator really quick to make sure I didn't make any mistakes for you guys. And I end up with negative 10 thirds, negative 10 thirds, and negative 5 thirds. So remember what these are, right? This guy was for D over A. This guy was for E over A. This guy was for F over A. Lucky for us, A is three and it should be all the same here. And if it wasn't, we just get a common denominator. So I can put these all back in that original equation, which is, oops, don't wanna do that. This guy up here, our general form. So since A equals three, I'll write out what my answer would be. We would get three X squared, three Y squared. Here's D, that negative 10. E is also negative 10. And F is negative five. And there's our equation of our circle.